Hi, everybody. I'm Matt Bushy. I'm a developer at Nationwide Insurance. I'm going to talk about web performance. Where do I start? Web performance encompasses a lot of things, so I'm going to hit on the biggest wins you can give to your business owners to keep them happy so they don't think you're wasting uh, Sprint um, doing things that they won't see a visual benefit for. So the first thing we want to talk about is the median web page size. So right now, the median is the middle. So oh, this doesn't show up very well at all. Um, the average web page size has increased 64% in the past five years on desktop and 185% on mobile. Um, meanwhile, the overall HTML size has decreased by 25%. So we're delivering more actual content to our users, but way more um, requests and um, costs and page weight. This mostly is caused by 620% increase in fonts and a 55,000% increase in uh, video on mobile. So how do we fix these things? Uh, Google Lighthouse is a tool that's built into Google Chrome. So go to DevTools, run your audits. We, it'll give you five scores. We care about two of the scores for the purposes of this, performance and best practices. So I ran this against the DevOps Days site. These scores overall are pretty good. It says the first thing we can do is defer off-screen images, second, properly size images, and third, serve images in next-gen format. So to delay images, we can use something called Intersection Observer. So what this does is you target a element on the page and you say as soon as this comes into view the viewport of the user or within a certain pixels of the viewport, then load the images. So in the case of the DevOps Days website, there were 26 PNG requests. It doesn't include the little logos that are on there. But only two needed to be loaded on the page um, initially. So we could have reduced our page weight by 24 requests and approximately 700 KB just on the initial page. So this also doesn't show up very well. Um, secondly, we can resize the images. So John Deere is one of the images, one of the sponsors. Their image is 900 pixels wide. So I took the top four images um, size-wise, and I resized them down to 150 pixels wide, which is the maximum size they need to be. Then I also optimized them using tiny PNG, and then I converted them to WebP. So just from those four images, we were able to save 90% of our image size. So that was half a megabyte. Another th tool you can use is Cloudinary or Thumbbor. So those, you upload your image, um, you, give the, you hit the URL, and you say like slash 200. So it'll give you an on-demand image that is 200 pixels wide or whatever um, specifications you list in the URL. Um, this is cool because then you can serve up WebP to a user whose browser supports WebP. So for example, you can use the picture tag to do that. Serve up a WebP image. If it doesn't support WebP, it'll go to PNG. Otherwise, it'll fall back to the image tag. So JavaScript and CSS, we serve up way too many files. Ideally, we would have one JavaScript file and one CSS file that we serve to the user. We can accomplish this by concatenating our files. Also, uglify or obfuscate your files, which is what the code is there, and then minify those files. When we do this, we're able to serve not only just one file, but gzip and other compression are able to take better advantage of just one file. So gzip is basically universally supported in all browsers. Brotly is a better option, but it's only 90% supported. Um, so if we take basic uh, image li or JavaScript libraries such as jQuery, the development version is 284K. Um, the minified and gzipped version, I think is 30K. These tables don't show up well. Um, so you're saving 90%. And the same is true of jQuery, React, or jQuery, React, Vue, and I also had a Bootstrap CSS on there. Um, other quick wins you can do. So review widgets. So on the DevOps Days website, there's a tweet embedded um, for the DevOps Days account. So this loads almost 500 KB of JavaScript and images per request. Uh, use SSL. So Google will penalize you if you don't use SSL. You can get a free. Um, SSL cert by using Let's Encrypt, so there's no excuse not to have one. Use HTTP2 uh, or CDN if possible. Inline all your critical CSS to reduce the page weight. Okay, so all my users are on desktop, let's say. Why would I care about this? My users have fast connections, fast computers. Well, first, Google loves speed. So the faster your website is relative to everything else, the better you're going to rank in the search results. Second, the faster the, your user's internet, the higher their expectations. So your site doesn't just need to be fast, it needs to be faster than the baseline website. And also, if it's a fast site and you have a fast connection, that's a win for everyone. Um, there's no downside to that.